Hey friends, this is Ernie from Trader of Futures and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Volume Profile on TradingView. Tons of people have been asking me, how do you use this Volume Profile? What is that thing on the other side, Ernie? I, I, want, I need to use it. All right, yes, you can use it, but you need a subscription uh, with TradingView. You need at least the minimum subscription. I think it's, I don't know, 15 bucks a month or something. It's worth it, just do it. Anyways. You get your chart, like you see here. You want to put a volume profile, you go to indicators. Click on that. If you have a paid subscription, click volume profile. You have three choices, visible range, session volume, and fixed range. I'll go through each one very quickly. Visible range is going to show you a volume profile, and that's volume at specific uh, prices, a distribution of prices on the left-hand side of the chart. All right, so we'll do that. We'll select that, close the window. There it is, voila. You wanna change some of the values. It shows up here as one of the indicators you're showing. You can click on the little format gear. You can show the POC. I like showing the POC. The POC is the point of control that's showing the highest level of volume within that chart. Now this chart over here on the left is showing you everything, all the volume in the visible region of the chart that's being shown in the window. Uh, you can also show the developing POC and the developing uh, VA. I think they just get in the way, but you can play around with those. All right, lots of other things. You can change the row size or the number of rows or the granularity of rows. By increasing this, you get more rows. By de decreasing, you get less. So I'm gonna increase it, say, to 100, for instance. And you'll see that the rows over here get more fine-grained. Great, that's how you use that. The value area, 70, that's 70% uh, of the total volume that exists in that profile, and it is indicated by the dark region in the volume profile. So for instance, if I were to cut that down to, say, 25, now you see the dark region is only 25% of the total volume. We use 70%, that's the standard. It's actually um, supposed to represent one standard deviation, which is actually around 68%, but we round it off to 70% because we're not crazy. All right. So that's how you manipulate the, uh, the, that type of volume profile. Now, watch what happens. If I hide some of this chart, the volume profile is going to recalculate and only show the volume for the visible part of the chart in the window. So if I were to then move it over, you'll see it will recalculate again, all right? That's what it means by using the visible area. All right, let's take a look at another type of a volume profile. We'll go to indicators, choose volume profile again, and this time we're gonna do fixed range. Now fixed range, allows you to choose a very specific number of candles, a range of candles, and see a volume profile just for those candles, and it will place the volume profile right in line with the candles. So let's select that, and then all you have to do is click on a candle, and then go to the candle you want to end with, and it creates a volume profile for you. Now the way you adjust this is you can simply double click on it, Turn off the developing VA, the developing POC. I don't like those. I like to make the POC a little bit um, brighter and darker and heavier. And you'll see in all of my analysis why, because that POC is so darn important because as price moves, it's always moving from one POC to another. So you want to see that POC. It's really, really important, fundamental. And I like to change the background. I like uh, cyan. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of the one on the right. And I'm gonna show you the um, uh, the last one. And uh, for this, we need an intraday chart. So we're gonna change this to a, say a 30 minute chart. We'll go up and choose volume profile. And we're gonna do session volume this time. Now what session volume does is it shows a volume profile for each individual session. That's the open and close of the session. Typically that's a 24 hour period with cryptos, with uh, stocks, it will obviously be like 
between 9.30 and 4.30 with futures. It will be between uh, 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in any event, it will show you a volume profile for each visible session. And so that's what you see. You see all the different sessions. And in this session, because it's a 30-minute chart, I can only see so many. I can bring more in and I can see other sessions. Now with each one of these, just like the range profile, I can uh, double click on it and I can change the row size, the granularity, make it uh, finer grained. I like it a little finer grained. Makes the chart look a little bit uh, more realistic, a little bit more information. It's all heuristics. It's not critical what those numbers are. I just choose things that look good. I choose colors that look good. So it's your personal preference. So there you go. I've looked through everything about volume profile, how to set it up, the three different types of charts, what they do. You have the one for visible range that will uh, end up on this side of the chart, and that shows whatever is visible. You have the uh, extended range where you can choose a, a range of bars to show the profile on any particular range of bars, or you can choose the session, which will show every session, a profile for each session. There you go. Volume profile. Live it, learn it, love it. See you next video.